What's up alligators? It's Ellie Hardesty and today's video is going to be me speaking on some YouTubers that I've encountered, sort of spilling the tea if you will. Everyone used to make these videos and I feel like a lot of them were very negative, but I did a video talking about the YouTubers that I've experienced that were like pretty freaking dope, so I want to keep up the positivity. And since I did that video, I've actually had the opportunity to collab with some other YouTubers that I didn't even know at that point and just meet some other YouTubers and there were also just some people I didn't get to talk about in that video because I ran out of time. I know that a lot of viewers see these people online and they're like, they're so great. And then sometimes they get disappointed when they meet them in person and they're not the same. And these are all people that I've had genuine experiences with and feel like they really are who they say they are. But I have different things to say about each one. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna get into this video. The first YouTuber that I wanna talk about is Shannon Rose. And I wanted to start off with her because for one, I love her. And for two, I feel like she gets a lot of undeserved hate. If you guys didn't know, I did a collab with her. We did a drive with me and then on her channel, we did a story time. She lives not that far from me, so that's kind of like how we got into contact. She actually reached out to me, which I thought was really cool because she's obviously the bigger YouTuber, and that just shows that she really does not care about numbers, and she works so hard, which is like, I think why when people say things online about her, like it bugs me. She basically dedicates her life to her channels and everything she does with social media, and a lot of people can sit here and say this about any YouTuber, like, oh, all you do is make videos, like your life is so hard. It's actually a lot of work, and they do that completely full-time like I'm a full-time college student so that takes up like half my life and the other half is like YouTube pretty much but I mean her entire life is YouTube when I went to her house her bedroom their bedroom her and Travis was basically a filming studio like they had the light shining over the bed and they had like the camera and the microphone and her husband Travis he helps her record everything like he goes and makes sure that everything is set up properly that's why everything's so high quality he edits the main channel videos she edits the vlogs etc like they have a system going they put so much effort into their channels and they take it so seriously and I don't think she gets enough credit for that nor does her husband because he's more like behind the scenes she works really hard and she is the same way in person so anything you're seeing online like that's her as a person you guys know a lot of her that's just like what I have to say about that no one deserves hate online because you guys don't freaking know these people so that's why I'm here to tell you guys what's up this next youtuber I want to talk about is Timmy Connors and a lot of you guys may know him from his music or from his you now streams he used to be in five quad with like Nick Bean and all them we actually went to high school together and we're pretty good friends back in the day we got introduced to each other from Michael Vera who is the person behind the Pokeflur channel which is now deleted it's no longer up on YouTube I don't know what happened to him he's basically a conspiracy theory at this point like he just fell off the face of the earth but that was my really good friend back in the day who got me to start a YouTube channel and he's been on my channel in some older videos Michael met Timmy and I around the same time and started hanging out with both of us and then like introduced us and so the three of us would hang out and Timmy would always help Michael film his videos so a lot of the videos that I was in with Michael Timmy was filming and back in high school he was always really quiet just kept to himself had his own style and way of thinking he was like different I mean that in a really good way like he wasn't a follower that was something I really liked about him he did his own thing like he didn't just conform one thing I remember from him is that he doesn't deal with anything that's fake like anything that's phony or he's not really into he will just cut it out he's just very authentically himself and I really respect him for that the songs are actually really really good it's not just some stuff he's trying to put out there to make money with. You can tell that he puts meaning into them and I can honestly say he was the same way back then as he appears to be now. So shout out to Timmy Connors. The next YouTuber I want to talk about is Joe Hall. He is a prank channel on YouTube. He also used to do a lot of social experiments and he just has really fun videos. I did a collab with him not too long ago, maybe like a few months ago. He actually emailed me like all professionally. So I met up with him and he has so much freaking energy, like the most energetic YouTuber I've ever met besides myself because I get pretty freaking hyper. You can tell that he just does not care what people think, which I think is an awesome trait to have as a vlogger because we were just vlogging in BJ's. Well, I wasn't really vlogging in BJ's. He was. I'm more low-key with vlogging. Like, I don't like people looking at me, but he didn't care one bit. His channel is very different than anyone I've ever collabed with. It's kid-friendly, which I have a lot of respect for because I know how freaking hard that is to do. One thing he does is he tells a lot of dad jokes. Like, they're funny, but they're just dad joke funny. He'll try to act out little skits that are like dad joke skits. He's just a really funny person. Okay, I think we should talk about a girl next. I want to talk about Brooke Houts. I had actually met her at VidCon before I filmed the last video, so I could have talked about her in there, but we did collab a few months back on Friday the 13th. We did a Ouija board at an abandoned slaughterhouse, and she's so great because I got to know her so much more, obviously, from meeting her at a party for like a minute versus hanging out with her for like that whole night, and after that night, like after we had collabed and filmed and everything, before she drove back, because this girl drove like an hour or two from where she lived to do that video 
video last minute I just hit her up but afterwards we were sitting in my car for maybe like a couple hours just talking about YouTube and life and like different things going on and she's such a real person and also her sense of humor in her videos if you watch her videos, she's very energetic and she makes all these like kind of cheesy jokes she's just a funny girl most youtubers can pretty much turn it off when they're not on camera anymore she is the exact same in real life if you guys have seen her videos she does like crazy editing she does it all on iMovie like she's never bought a program also she doesn't have a ring light and she uses like some lamp and then she just edits in iMovie the free software to make her lighting look really good so if anyone out there is trying to start a YouTube channel and their excuse is they don't have the proper equipment that is no excuse I just thought that was really dope and you would never be able to tell by the quality of her videos so shout out to Brooke she's legit and yeah let's just move on to the next youtuber we're gonna talk about Aaron Fuller so if you guys didn't know around a year ago I went on a trip with him a vacation to LA with a bunch of different youtubers he was one of the people on this trip so me and him got to know each other very well throughout this week of time and if you guys watched the story time that I made like a year ago also where I talked about getting scammed by a psychic in LA he too got scammed by that psychic in LA I think I touched on it briefly in the video and then he ended up making a video about it basically Aaron besides myself youtuber wise it's probably the most naive person I know like and that's coming from me like we're both very naive and we just believe people when they say things very friendly person very easy to like right off the bat and this is the thing I left out of the video but he and him actually ended up bathing together with clothes on in the bathtub at the hotel in the freaking whatever it was I don't even know what it was to this day but it was the stuff that I paid like $100 for and the stuff that he paid like $100 for so I wouldn't go to hell and so that he wouldn't have a failed love life we ended up actually still trying to do it even though we knew it was a scam because we were like well we already paid for this like I was freaked out by the psychic and everything she said to me and he was low-key too even if he's trying to act like he didn't believe it like we both believed it anyways there's a couple other youtubers I wanted to talk about in this video but I'm actually gonna save them for another time also if you guys would like me to do a video talking about youtubers that I think are underrated and just deserve more recognition in general like not big youtubers like I've been talking about but people who have like 5,000 subscribers 10,000 or maybe even like 500 that I've come across that I think are just like gem channels like I watch them all the time give this video a thumbs up and comment below because I don't know if you guys would be interested in that or not thank you so much for watching subscribe if you are new turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button twice right next to the subscription box follow my social medias I also have a patreon if you guys want extra videos exclusive photo shoots private snapchat etc that will be linked below at the top of the description box and I will see you guys in the next video later alligators bye